Hey, we're at Dover Down Speedway. We're here doing a little landscaping project. We got my buddies from EP Henry supplying the stone, got my friends from the Brick Doctor, and they're gonna beat some weather. So let's grab Dave, get a quick walkthrough, and see what's going on. Good. Hey, hey Brian, how are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Good, thanks. Nice project, nice day, number one. Tell me what's going on, a little bit about the why and how, and what are we doing here? This is one of the, uh, actually one of the products we're doing here to help beautify some areas around the racetrack. Um, basically, you come in here and look, it's, it's so industrial looking with all the steel, yeah, it is. asphalt paving and, and, and gravel. And this is sort of a main entrance right here? Absolutely. It's actually one here. of many gates for our, our fans to enter the facility and get to their seats. So you got my buddy from EP Henry supplying the stone here, and that's a, that's a pretty popular stone for them. And how's the finish? It goes down and around, and where do you actually stop? Do you actually, stop? Our plans are actually to actually bring it out front and the last steel beam down here yep. and bring another small uh, raised planting bed at the entrance right. to bring in some more color with some annual flowers. And how many times does this happen around the track? Uh, there's quite a few entrances like this around the track. Uh, this is the second one for this year. We did Same look. Same look same using the yep. AP Henry okay. uh, yep. wall and yep. then introducing some color with flowers and also the, the color of the wall. Really? I'm going to talk to the guys for a little bit from Brick Doctor. Hey, nice to meet you. Thanks for the quick Thank tour you for and um, we'll see you at the end of this. Take, Take care. care. Hey Jason. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. How's it going? It's going pretty good. We're moving right along. The weather is cooperating a whole lot, but yeah, of course we're it's moving. Not. Anything you do outside, you run at the weather problem. Yes, very much. Tell me about the footing. How do you actually get this stone um, in here? Right now, we're using number 57 stone, a clean base. Um, he's installing that up top right now. Yep. And then I have a guy coming through leveling out the base course right behind him. It's a two-sided stone. Why, why, why on this wall would you use two-sided? It's, it's a double face stone because of the simple fact that this is high it's going, so yep. you're going to see it from both sides okay. whenever you walk around, so it's very nice to have a finished product on both sides. It's nice about E.P. Henry with the wall they make here. Yeah, I love this stone. Why did you choose them? Um, E.P. Henry, we've always been happy with their product. They're they're local, they're very they're very easy to work with. Yeah. A very consistent product. It's okay. a very good product overall. We enjoy using them. I know it's, a, it's an easy stone to work with, but is, there is a pattern here you're following, right? Um, it's, not necessarily. It's, it's, it's a random pattern. The biggest part of the pattern is is to keep your, for structural, for strength, is to keep your seams so they don't line up. Okay. So you just make sure you stagger all your seams to give it strength. You get pegs, you get glue. Mm -hmm. Every single every single piece of stone a, a, gets every those. Single, every single course is because it's going to be a heavy traffic area. People are going to lean up against it, sitting on it. Little, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably be safe than sorry. About four or five layers, how high are you coming up right, right here? Um, the, the high, it's going to be an average of 20, 24 inches. It's okay. going to start out at 27 inches. The lowest point is 18 inches. Right. Is there any height limitations on this? If you wanted to go high, could you? It can be, but you have to. it has to be engineered. It Anything does. Four feet has to be engineered. So, Jason, you, this is the finished cap right here that you're using. Yes, sir. All the way down. Just makes easy corners using this brick also. Yes, very much. It, the, the, all the corners come pre-broken for us. You can make them if you have to, but it's much easier. Oh, this block, is, this block is made for this corner. Yes, sir. If you notice, it's, it's uh, faced on three sides here. Actually, it's made as a corner. What are they thinking next? Hey, Jason, thanks for the tour. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple days when this is completely finished. I okay. can't wait, and hopefully we hit a sunny day also. Sounds good. Take care. Thanks a lot. Hey Jason. How you doing? Good, how's it going? Good. A good. lot better day than very the last much, time I was down here. So obviously you're completely finished and it already had the first test. It passed the NASCAR test. Yeah. Right? You, <laughs> you can ask 300,000 people coming through this gate and mm -hmm. leaning on it and yep. sleeping on it. It looks great. What a difference this is going going inside. Very it dresses up a lot. So we're Start done. to finish, four days. Right. Like so we're here about four days. Yeah. So so from time we started till time we finished. Oh, it's, a, yep. it's a beautiful looking stone. I'm gonna grab Eric from uh, EP Henry and okay. do a little walkthrough with him. But Jason, Great. thanks for your time. I thanks. know you're busy and I appreciate you coming back Not down. No problem. Here. We'll Thank see you next you. time. Eric, how's it going? Good. Nice how's things you. at EP Henry going? Very good. Thank you. Obviously, one of the better stones right here. Well, one of the stones that I like. Best, I should say. We chose the double-sided Coventry, obviously, because you can see it from both sides. Yep. And then we picked kind of a red-black color because there's a lot of grays and whatnot, so we thought the red-black would kind of stand out a little bit better. I don't think there's a stone they make that I don't like. Seriously, I'm just a big block stone person. We actually saw this being made back in the, about a year ago. I took a field trip down to where it came from, and I saw this, how it tumbles. And I, didn't, I knew nothing about it. Great. Anyway, thanks. I appreciate your time. It Thank you, great. Brian. We'll see you in the next project. All righty. Still to come, will they follow directions or go their own way? How about putting the screws through already and then we need a third person.
But first, Chrissy has the fix for a flooded paved driveway. American Builder lays it down after this.